Hey everybody, Abby here. Today we are discussing whether or not prostate massage has any medical benefits to it, any health benefits to it. Um, have you ever wondered if there are any health benefits to this? Um, I have done my homework and there are a few reasons actually um, for that are health wise that are beneficial. Um, and we will cover that along with the more commonly known reasons for prostate massage um, a little later on in the video. But first, let's talk about the health benefits and if there are any. Um, first off, we're gonna, I'm going to start by um, understanding what prostate massage actually is. It is defined as a way to empty fluids from your prostate ducts. The prostate is a small gland about the size of a golf ball and it is located between the base of the penis and the rectum. Its primary function is to produce semen that aids in sperm travel and survival. It is a procedure that can be performed for medical and health conditions such as prostatitis, which is the swelling and inflammation of the prostate gland to ease pressure, swelling, and pain. It can also be performed to diagnose a medical condition with the purpose of releasing some fluid to examine under a microscope to look for signs of infection or other problems. Although the main treatments for erectile dysfunction are medications, pumps, shots, implants, exercise, pelvic floor exercises, and diet, some men have reported increased sexual pleasure and are able to ejaculate more easily with a prostate massage. However, there isn't any scientific proof to back up that claim. It has also been found that the urethra, which is the tube that drains your bladder, is surrounded by your prostate, which if it's swollen, it can affect your urine flow and possibly cut it off, which can be bad news. In this case, a prostate massage would ease the swelling and as a result, put less pressure on the urethra. Are there risks? Some men choose to perform prostate massage on themselves, whether it is for sexual pleasure or medical reasons. But there's a chance to hurt yourself if you massage too roughly. Prostate sh massage shouldn't be painful. If it's being done for medical reasons, it's best to get it from your doctor who knows the proper technique. If you're experiencing pain after prostate massage, see your doctor. Side note, lubricate, lubricate, and lubricate some more. And now that we've all heard of, I know that we've all heard of prostate orgasm, or at least most of us have. It's when the prostate gland is stimulated or massaged and an orgasm is the result. This sexual activity is performed by inserting a finger, penis, or device into the anus to stimulate the prostate that leads to orgasm for some. The gland can also be stimulated from the outside through the perineum, which is the area between the anus and scrotum. This type of orgasm is known as perineum orgasm. The prostate has been called the male G-spot or the P-spot and has also been termed prostate milking. Although prostate milking is usually reserved for internal orgasms and not perineal massage. Now, are there differences between prostate and penile orgasm? Of course there are. Some of them being ejaculate, 
with prosthetic fluid being only one part of the fluid that comes out from the penis ejaculate and the rest from the seminal vesicles and the urethra and bulbourethral glands. Prostate orgasm only produces the fluid from the, the prostate gland. Another difference, the method of stimulation, of course. Arousal and orgasm from both involves nerves, brain, hormones, and of course, sex organs. However, penile orgasm is through the penis stimulation and prostate organ orgasm is through prostate stimulation. Pretty basic. Another difference is sensation. In general, prostate orgasms are said to be more intense than penile orgasms. Why? Because penile orgasms are associated with four to eight pelvic contractions, while prostate orgasms are associated with 12 contractions. Another reason? Recovery time. In general, prostate orgasms require a shorter refractory period than penile orgasms. It is possible to have both types of orgasm at the same time or one right after another. And some have found that this combination is the most intense of orgasms. So of course we wanna give you some safety advice and tips here if you're gonna venture down this road. Prostate orgasm generally is safe, but you wanna be sure to take proper precautions to avoid irritating the tissue or scratching because it's very thin and it's very sensitive back there. First being trim your nails. Be gentle, go slow, and start small. Another being use a strong lubricant, either water-based or silicone. And one tip, silicone tends to last longer and provides more lubrication. However, if using silicone toys for this, you want to use a water-based lube. And another tip here, is because the prostate is near the rectum, you shouldn't encounter poo as long as you've had a bowel movement within the last day or so. If an inserted device or finger emerges clean, you should be fine. If not, you might want to try a prostate massage on another day. So, there it is everyone. Everything you've ever wanted to know or didn't want to know about prostate massage. I want to apologize for getting a little grossed out there towards the end. If I seem to, it's just one of those things that gross me out when we were talking about the poo on the finger or device. Um, maybe, who? Maybe that's an idea for a video things that gross Abby out. Um, I think I'll have to think on that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, have anything to add about prostate massage, benefits, risks, feelings, if you've experienced it, what you thought of it, um, leave it in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, everybody, as always, Love hugs and smoky kisses. Bye, everyone.